Hi, so I just finished my home yoga practice and I wanted to share some of the poses that I do as a breastfeeding mom that makes me feel like I'm not a hunchback. Because when I nurse or when I carry my babies, it makes my shoulders round forward and it makes the middle part of my back, the thoracic vertebrae, round like a hunchback. And just that posture, it makes me feel kind of grumpy and low and dim. So I want to lengthen and open up my heart space so I feel more plugged in and joyful and connected to life and to myself. So there's a few heart openers I'll do on a regular basis when I wake up feeling like I'm a hunchback. So I'm gonna share those with you. So the first one, I'm going to increase the level of difficulty as I go. I take a blanket, fold it into a rectangle. You could also do this with a towel, and I roll it up into a roll. And I place it and towards the end of my yoga mat. And the middle of my back is where I tend to bend forward. So I want to get the middle of my back to bend open. I tend to already be really naturally in the mid back that's where i tend to bend so i don't want to increase that bend so it's really possible for me to bend here hyper too much and still be a hunchback so i'm going to lay down on the side and find the tip of my shoulder blade and i'm going to lay on my blanket and then i'm going to push on my feet so that my skin slides over the blanket and i'm going to push myself towards the wall so that my shoulders can come towards the floor. I lift my hands towards the sky, take a deep breath in, remind myself how great and full my life is, and then allow my arms to settle with gravity from my fingertips through my shoulders. Then I open my arms up like a cactus. So the head of my arm bones ground down towards the earth and the tips of my shoulder blades lift the heart up, and I press my head back into the floor. Again, I want to be opening my upper back, not my low back. So if you're getting too much bend in your low back, tone your belly. I sometimes stay here from two to five minutes. And then instead of coming straight up like a sit up, that will tone the front of your mouth, which we're trying to open, the throat, the scalings. So I'm going to come out by rolling over to my side and pressing myself up. So that's the most gentle heart opener we're gonna, I'm going to show you today. Hey, baby Violet. The second one, I'm going to use two blocks and a strap. You could do both of these blocks on the medium section. I'm going to do them on the highest section. And I'm going to take a strap, and I've looped it so that it won't budge, and it's armpit distance across. So again, I want to find that secret spot on my back which is about the middle of my shoulder blades. The base of the block is on the tip of my shoulder blades. And notice how I stabilize the block as I come in here. So this is a little awkward getting in. And then I take the other block behind my occiput, the bump on the back of my head. And then I take my strap and put it around my upper arms. Deep breath in. May I be in my life fully and plug into my heart. From my fingertips, I ground the tips of my shoulder blades back, or I ground my arm bones back towards the floor and draw the tip of the shoulder blades into the back of my heart as I lift my arms over my head. Sometimes you have to adjust that top strap. Lots of length, head of the arm bones move towards the floor, tips of the shoulder blades lift the heart space up, head, palate of the mouth presses back, and I extend. Core is strong, heart is opening. This could be called reverse breastfeeding. Again, staying here from two to five minutes. To come out, I remove the strap and I roll uh, over to the side. And in between these, I like to sit up and notice how much more lifted my heart is getting and how that lifted heart really affects the quality of my mind. It takes it from that like dull, sad place 
and automatically starts to uplift it. So we can really change our attitude by the position we hold our body in. There's a great TED talk on that. Anyways, moving on. So now I'm gonna remove one of my blocks. I'm gonna come into that same one. First I'll show it on the more modified one because this is a little bit more difficult. I'm gonna lay that tip of the shoulder blade right above, tip of the shoulder blades right below the edge of my yoga mat, or my block, I can't speak, lengthen from my hips to my armpits, round the head of my arm bones down towards the floor, move my head back, use the tip of the shoulder blades to lift the heart space as I reach my thumbs towards the floor. The thumbs turning down is gonna help keep the neck space clear. It can also be feel nice to grab the sides of the yoga mat. And once you're integrated, side bodies long, arm bones back, shoulder blade tips lift the heart, head back, then stretch and push the mat away from you as you curl back. Belly is strong. Again, I come out by rolling over to the side. You can do that. Again, I like to do that on this bigger one. Okay, so the last one I'm gonna show you is with a chair. And I'm gonna take my mat, my blanket, so I have a little bit of cushion. And again, I'm gonna be putting this prop into my back that wants to round forward, slightly above T12, so that I can curl my heart open. And I can already feel how just those few poses I've done has really started to change the shape of my body. So I'm gonna come in here like I'm sitting on a chair. I'm gonna find that spot. Lengthen. Plug, head back. <laughs> Lengthen, plug, head back. Lengthen, plug, head back. Once I get nestled in here with my toned belly, I start to lower my seat. Oh, so good. I've been known to do this when I talk to my husband at night. Oh, this is just incredible. I've been talking a lot about how this is good for breastfeeding moms and moms who carry lots of babies, but really our whole Western world does that same posture, whether because we're using the iPhone, or we're mowing the lawn, or we're cooking, or we're eating, or we're at a computer all day, or we're driving. I come out by sitting down, and letting my head lift last. But all of those things we do all day is the same posture as nursing. So although I'm kind of pitching this towards the nursing mom because I know how uncomfortable it is to do this all day with a baby. Really all of us are guilty of it. And it's those rep rep repetitive habits, putting our body posture in this state that makes our body grow accustomed to being in this space. And our body, like I said, dictates a lot of our attitudes. So then we wake up and are like, yeah, I just feel kind of sad, not really motivated or into life. <laughs> But so much of that is because of the habitual state we're putting our bodies in. So take a few minutes of your day and choose to shift your body, choose to shift your mind. Okay, I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any questions or tips or any other videos you'd like to see, please leave a comment below. Give it a like and subscribe. Thank you. Oh, I also have a tutorial about using a wrap or a strap to help manually draw the head of the arm bones back and lift the heart up that you might want to check out. I'll link it in the comments below. Thanks again for watching.